In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the aspect ratio of an element in CSS. Okay, so in this example, we have a parent element with the class of aspect ratio, and then we have inside an image element. Now, the aspect ratio element has no CSS applied while the image has a max width equal to 100%. So when you set the max width of an image equal to 100%, you're making the image responsive. So if we resize the window, as you can see, we, uh, the image scales down and it's also preserving its intrinsic aspect ratio. Now let's suppose we want to do the same, but with any element. So let me comment out the image and now let's switch to the SCSS. So we have an element with the class of aspect ratio that we cannot actually see at the moment because there is no content inside this element. Now, by default, uh, a div has a width of uh, um, 100%. So it's taking uh, the full available space. So let's set a height equal to uh, 100 pixels and then a background color equal to silver. Okay, now here it is our element. Now, if we resize the window, uh, the, as you can see, the, the element is not preserving the aspect ratio because there is no actual aspect ratio set for this element. So the height is always 100 pixels and the width is always equal to the full available space. Okay, so uh, soon enough, we'll be able to use the aspect ratio aspect ratio new CSS property that you can use to define the ratio between the width and the height. For example, you can set an aspect ratio of 16 by nine, which is the aspect ratio of YouTube videos, for example. So we can actually remove this height and just have that property, which is not supported yet in uh, almost any browser at the moment. So we can check can I use and look for aspect ratio? And as you can see, it's partially supported in a few modern browsers, but in our example, it's not really working in uh, uh, Chrome as well. So uh, soon enough, you'll be able to use this property. Now let me show you um, a technique that you can use today, which is based on the padding hack and on the custom property which is supported by all modern browsers and also most of the old browsers as well. So let me remove this. Actually, let me turn this uh, property into a custom property. Okay, now we want to uh, set the height equal to zero and then we can work with the padding bottom. And this is why we call this trick the padding hack. So the formula here is, so we need, first of all, we need the calc function and then we need to set the padding bottom equal to 100% divided by the aspect ratio variable we just created and then save. As you can see, our element is back. And now if we resize the window, it's actually scaling down, preserving the aspect ratio, which is this one, 16 by nine. If, for example, we change this to uh, four by three, now we have a different aspect ratio, which is slightly uh, taller. But now if the height is equal to zero, and we're using the padding bottom to create the um, desired aspect ratio, how can we actually add content to this element? So let me bring back our, uh, our little, little friend here. So um, we can target the direct child of this element, which is the image. Now we can set a position absolute. So let's go back to the parent and set the position relative. Now for this element, we want to set the top of zero a left of zero, a width and height of 100%, which means equal to the parent size. And now if we save, we have that the pet image is uh, overlapping the uh, aspect ratio element. So it's preserving the aspect ratio, but obviously it's uh, uh, distorted. Well, that's because the um, original size of the image is uh, different from the aspect ratio that we are applying. Now, likely in CSS, we have the object fit property, 
which works uh, similarly to the background size property in a way when you set cover. So we can use cover also for the object fit. And uh, this property is going to uh, change the way the image is displayed. It's going to prevent the, uh, the distortion of the image, adapting it to the new available sites. Uh, now obviously some parts of the images will not be uh, visible but it's, uh, it's still better than having the image distorted. And as you can see now, if we resize the window, the element is preserving uh, the aspect ratio and uh, the image, which is inside the aspect ratio element, is preserving the ratio along with the, the parent. Okay, so this is how you set the aspect ratio of an element in CSS using custom properties.